Buccaneer Ramirez. She's the newest soldier in Fortnite Save the World and she's part of the pirate he um, heroes and that whole set and I'm not a month late on actually getting this video out. I'm actually pretty early for once. So what is her a new perk? It is hand cannons plus so every five lefty and righty shots spawn a cannonball dealing 51 base physical damage. I have no idea how this actually works. I'm going to assume it's something like the bowler from a couple of years ago. Um, basically a cannonball you shoot at any bounces but I, again I've got no idea so let's have a look at my build we have happy holidays so it reduces our ability cooldown by 40% so that basically it takes a hundred second cooldown from lefty and righty to a four, um, 60 second cooldown which is very nice absolutely stunning so lefty and righty shots have a 37.5% chance to stun the target for two seconds bang and pow increases the lefty and righty damage by 25% zip and zap so lefty and righty applies affliction which deals 13 base energy damage per second for three seconds then when we don't have lefty and righty active and it's on cooldown we have Lairs, where's lefty so every pistol at smg elimination decreases the cooldown by one second which is very good we need that and then survivalists just help keep us alive we also have stationary hover turret and adrenaline rush to protect us and heal us so we're going to take buccaneer ramirez into a mission and just see how good she actually is so I've entered a mission after searching for about 10 minutes to try and find someone but it's got to that point with Save the World where I don't really think anyone plays it anymore. But oh I've just realised she's got Warcry, she's got Grenade and Warcry so I'm not going to Warcry just yet. Let's just see how Lefty and Righty works. I want to see the cannonball. Oh it's an explosive cannonball! Oh! That is strong, I really like that already. I am a massive fan of this. That is so strong. And if you pair that with Warcry, think of the damage. I didn't think they'd be explosive. I just thought it would be um, like a heavy thing with a load of impact that just goes through every enemy. But I did not expect something to ex um, be explosive. Hey, two people have joined. So I'm going to get more damage now. This has to have a smasher test and preferably a physical smasher. Oh, look at that. We've already got... Um, our lefty and righty back because of all the husk eliminations with our pistol. Right, let's try it on this smasher. I do want a physical smasher though because that will be the main test. So let's try this. We're going to war cry and then, you know what, you could probably have sub wafers on this as well. War cry and then lefty and righty. Here we go. War cry, lefty, righty. The speed! Oh, that is strong, the speed of that. And the range. Oh, wow. That is really good. I'm actually impressed. No, I'm going to die. I want to heal. Wow, I'm I'm really shocked with that. I didn't think I'd like this, to be honest. But, oh, no. I'm going to go down. Don't. Why have I got such a rubbish weapon out? I'm dead. No. Go away! Oh no. I'm a potato. I am absolutely loving this. I really am. Let's R1L1 again. Look at that! That is fantastic! I mean, I'm very inaccurate with it, but... Wow! The thing is, I've got the, the heroes as well that stun them, so they're going to get... Well, there's a chance for them to be stunned. And I've also got the Affliction hero on there as well. So when I'm using lefty and righty, they're getting affliction damage, which is crazy. And it, again, I'm using physical damage on nature enemies here, but it's still melting through them. I need a uh, physical smasher. Come on. All right, I'm going to go searching for a physical smasher. If I don't find one, then I don't find one. But oh my gosh, I, I have incredibly high hopes for this. I have found them. I was going to settle with a nature smasher, but I found my physical smasher. So here we go. We're in a war cry. I'm going to lefty and righty. Oh no, he's moving. Look at the speed and the damage. I've gone blind. This is crazy. This is one of the strongest abilities in the game. It has to be. Look at, like, in terms of how quickly you can destroy a smasher, though. That is phenomenal. I'm actually impressed. I really am. Wow. Wow. We've only 20 seconds left on the cooldown as well. Significantly less now. I'm going to go down again. I should have really crafted something a lot better. And maybe not going in a nature storm because I'm just losing energy anyway. But, wow. This is crazy. I'm thinking 
Uh, ooh, maybe, it, well, I don't care. If it sets off exploders, you'll eliminate the explode before they detonate now, which is good. Again, this is one of those abilities where you kind of want to save until a massive horde comes. Your, say your object, right, let's just um, find some hus husks. Yeah, husks. Let's just, like, right, look at that. Say they're destroying the objective. There's, like, what, five seconds before that objective is destroyed. I come in, you know, all thinking I'm cool. War cry, pop this, run through them. Look at that. They just get melted. It's crazy. My frames go to like 4 FPS, but if I'm protecting that objective... Wait, the cannonballs stay on the ground and explode when a husk walks over it. I thought, oh, they were exploding because I was having a direct hit on them. But they kind of, I think they stay on the ground. We're going to have to test that out. I'm just going to kind of like shoot at the floor. I think it's five shots. And then maybe bait a husk over or see how long it takes them. Right, we've got 15 seconds left on this. Just going to try and get the cooldown bit back a bit quicker. Five minutes left already. Have we done the objective we have? So I'm going to shoot five on the floor. And just see how long it takes. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so... Oh, no, it blows up after a while, but... Oh! What if I... Oh, no, I ran out of time. I forgot about that. What was that second explosion, though? That's why I want to know. Does it actually splinter? Like the Jabberwocky does. Because I didn't notice any any splinters on there. Oh, I'm just going to eliminate you. Come here. But this is so strong. It's definitely one of my favourite heroes that's came out in recent months. I tried the, the other lefty-righty hero that came out recently. He was just a stunner. Again, he's good, but not amazing. But this one, she is incredible. This makes lefty and righty so much stronger than ever. And then the other one is every 10 shots, but still, it's only double the length. They just all died randomly there. I need to find another horde. We have... Where's the encampments? There's an encampment over here. Oh, this is the one we I kind of started before. Let's try and get this encampment. Oh no, load of husks are spawning. Again, I'm going to war cry. And lefty and right. So let's see if you can shoot these guys at this guy. Whoa, you absolutely shred through them. Whoa. I tell you what. I am very impressed with this hero. Very, very impressed. Like, this is the type of stuff you want in Save the World. Oh, I've got another pistol. Get him. Because content recently on the game, is, it's been coming, but it's been... Ugh. But this is definitely something I'm loving. I'm just going to... I really want this. I want my lefty and righty back. Come on. Okay, I probably need something a bit more for survival. Come on, give me lefty and righty. Yes, we got it. And we melt through them. No war cry here, but you don't need the war cry. Again, we're only doing 50% damage to these guys because of... It's physical, but still, the damage is incredible. There was a healer lobber there. Or whatever it's called. I love it. Absolutely love a hero. This this weapon needs reload speed. Whoa. Right, I'm going to put a turret up just so I can actually try and stay alive. And hopefully get back in the center circle. But honestly, get this hero. I think the last one I said collection book. Because, oh, that, maybe that was a weapon. Yeah, I think it was the grunt. I just said collection book it because it was awful, but... This hero, you're going to need, two th currently in the store, event store, for 2,800 um, gold. I had to open about 80 million llamas to get that gold. But that was definitely worth it, a hero I really enjoy playing. And the cooldown as well, it's 60 seconds at most. If you've got a pistol out and there's a load of enemies, that's going to go down to 30 seconds if you get 30 eliminations in 30 seconds. Well, 30 seconds. It's crazy. And it has got to be one more horde. I want, like, one last big horde to finish this mission. Just revive you. I think you should be... Um, you should get points. Some sort of point system in this game. Really change up the... The gameplay of this game needs massively changing. But I'm leaving that for another video I've kind of had planned for a very long time. But it does need changing. Because you need to be more rewarded as a team in this. Alright, that's not a massive horde. But I don't care. War cry. Look at that. It's so fast as well. 
It's like you've got two... It feels like I've got two Jack's Revenges in my hands or Duelists. It's kind of fitting I'm using the Duelist here. Look at all that. The explosions everywhere. They just carry on and carry on. I think they do splinter, you know. No way did I have um, that many around. But it feels like I've got two Jack's Revenges in my hand. Like with a full crit build. Like, but without a long reload time and a slow fire rate. Like the complete opposite. No reload time and an incredibly fast fire rate. That's what it feels like. But an explosive Jack's Revenge. It is amazing. It really is. Get a few more. I want to see how quickly we can get through a, uh, a blaster. We've done the smasher, and that's done it about few, in a few seconds. The taker, incredibly quick. But what about a blaster? We're going to war cry as well, because why not? So, war cry. No! No! I don't have energy! There we go. Three shots. We don't even need the gimmick of the. Think it. How far can the cannons go? See how far the cannons go. Did they go really? F Yo, they go really far away. The cannons. And I'm dead. And I got whacked far. But for so, I'm very impressed. That was very strong. And we only have th um, three of us in here. If we have another person, our fort stats will be increased, and we'll be doing even more damage. But I'm very impressed. Look at that damage. Four thousand two hundred fifty-one. I was just eliminating enemies though. But very good hero. So that was Buccaneer Ramirez. And straight away, get this hero she's incredibly strong and if you had the same build i have on you're basically going to be using lefty and righty the majority of the game or for those very clutch moments at least i kind of wish i tested it on a mini boss because i have a massive feeling we shred through that and the fact she's got war cry as well you can pair that you can war cry then you can whip out lefty and righty that is fantastic but if you're going to do that i do recommend um just getting that energy booster just so you've got that extra 20 energy in case because you you saw with me when i was doing the um that blaster i got hit by a nature enemy and i lost a bit of energy so i had to wait a few seconds for my lefty and righty to actually turn up but she is incredibly strong by far one of my favorite heroes in the game and definitely one of the strongest in terms of damage output in the game she's incredible but i'm going to leave this here let me know what you guys thought of this and as always thank you for watching